Love, love, love. Love, love, love. You want to love, love, love? You want to know about some love, love? I got some love, love. This is you. So, Lex, you can find me. I'm Slick So Mud. I'm Slick So Mud. Yeah. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And this one, this one, this love, love, love is 50. Oh, 50. Ah, 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 50. Yeah. Love, love, love. 50. Ah. You, 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 you out there, you out there, you are in this video, oh yeah, you are, yeah, 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 you are, you are important, and you matter, you are important and you matter, you know that, you know that, you are important and you matter, yes, you do, yes, you do, and you know what comes to my mind, you know what comes to my mind is you know what the world serves up for the most part is rejection. And the world serves up for the most part that you don't matter. I mean, you, you know, I mean, that's generally the consensus of the things and the kind of response and that you're going to get. Ah, uh, you know, I, I mean, just whatever, you know, kind of sometimes these thoughts come to my mind, so I just decided to go ahead and say them, you know. <laughs> And I never know some sometimes, some sometimes where these thoughts are coming from, but here they are. You know, you are important and you matter. And you know, I mean, just this is a little get delicious little tea bit, just a little tea bit here. Um, people, you know, uh, I probably say sports players in general. You know, I, and one of the one of the players. Uh, you know, football comes on my mind. He was tied in. He played for, uh, he paid for the, he played for the Broncos for the longest time. You know, and he was such a great player. And then towards the end of his career, they traded him off. You know, and he spent the last two years in some other team, someplace else. And I just think that you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that's just not right. Uh, you know, it's like, oh well, you're not performing to where we need you right now, and, and uh, you know, so we just. Anyways, whatever. I mean, you know, so you want the, the thing that I'm thing, the thing that I'm thing, the, the thing that I want to try to emphasize out there is that you are important and that you matter. And the world has a way of showing you and telling you, for the majority of the most part, that you aren't. You know, and that, and, you know, and, they, and you know, and, and, and you know, and <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, we look to the external, and like I'll say, when uh, the world, when I'm explaining the world, I'm saying everything that's outside of you, everything that's outside of you, the world, you know, the, the, well, the external that's out there, and that can be close family members, that can be schoolmates, that can be college mates, that could be just anybody that's out there in this world where you where you're where you're at is for the most part a lot of them serve up rejection when you're looking for a little bit of personal personal support uh i mean so many times and that's that's a really sense sense sensitive subject because what i'm about to talk about here what i'm about to talk about here um and what really uh, kind of drove me on this video where I'm starting out here uh, on this little stint of videos that I'm doing because I sent down for a little stint of them. You know, I do a few here, a few there, a few here, there, fair. And this one came about this girl recently that I read about, um, that uh, teenage girl that committed suicide. And, um, you know, it, it just, it, I was just kind of puzzled. So I inquired, you know, because... Um, I watched the video and that she was, um, you know, like, I, I don't know, specifically one of her, like straight A student, good with like this electronics program, getting awards, being recognized, um, having two parents that were involved in her life and everything that was going good on her life on the outside. But then she went and she did and she took her she took her life um, and um, and ended it and then it was like the little things that I started to pick up on it was that really on a deep level inside herself she hated herself you know I mean you know and this is a stinking epic that's going on out there, you know? Whatever kind of, you know, because like I said, the world serves up rejection no matter, probably, no matter how good you do. Like when I was in the Navy, you could give what they call the thousand 
attaboys. You know, but but the one aw shit could ruin your career, you know? They, they, they don't care about that. They don't care about all the thousand attaboys that you did. It's the one aw shit that um uh that is that is taking you down. And you know, as much as I was in the military and everything, it's like sometimes they just kind of rile off of that, those situations. And um but anyway, back to the subject that we were at with this girl. Um, and, um, you know, I don't know 100% if this is true or not. But um, uh, she had a situation going on. And I, I kind of had a suspicion just because of the way that they did the videos that the parents were divorced. And... Um, uh, one of the things that happened was is that you know one thing that's cop one of the thing that's common uh, that happens when couples get divorced is like you know they're really usually not too happy with each other. Um, it's not this amicable. Oh, does you know? It's like you know, um, you know. For me, I have this person that was driving me crazy, and um, I had a I had a difficult time. I had I had some difficult time, and I because I was reeling off of. A lot of things and um, so it made me stop to wonder here because of this particular aspect of it whether it's true or not but I think it's worth noting you know because there's a lot of kids out there that come from divorced parents and you know if the dad doesn't like the mom or the mom doesn't like the dad and they're kind of at each other somewhere along the line there that child is taking some sort of identity in that particular situation because children are drawing off of the external of uh, the things that are in the world, right? They're drawing off of those things that are out there and trying to, you, you know, as a child um, and as a teenager, whatever, you're trying to establish some sort of identity in yourself. And if you're you're growing up with divorced parents, there's that kind of negativity. There's that clash of there's a clash of the titans, and um, uh, there's that going back and forth. And I think somewhere along the line that you know that kids get involved in trying to identify themselves themselves because if if they see themselves maybe like their dad a little bit or they see themselves maybe like their mom a little bit and then there's some sort of lack of approval between the parents with each other then the child takes on that identity and then they begin to not like themselves which is just another you know thing that's piled on there because I mean you know we all look in the mirror too you know we're all not satisfied for something I don't care if it's zit on your nose or uh, or your tooth is out of shape or your eyelid isn't right or whatever it is I mean I'm guilty of it too you know I'm, I'm guilty of it too you know I mean not just accepting yourselves for who they are so then when you when you compile all these things that we're getting from the world and the unacceptance and the the lack of appreciation and all those things that really just kind of pile on pile on in whatever shape or form that they come in then it causes us not to like ourselves and to and to and in certain cases to hate ourselves and i just couldn't quite you know i mean that's just you know you think well it just doesn't make sense but then it does make sense because I don't care. I don't care who you are, how you are, where you are. No matter who you are, I don't care what the kind of great accomplishments that you have. If you are not happy with yourself and you don't like yourself and you hate yourself and you despise yourself, you know, uh, I, I won't name a celebrity here because I don't think it's worth mentioning, but you know, and there's celebrities in the past that have trouble with suicide and stuff like that. And you think some of those people, I mean, they're, they're famous, they're actors, they're actresses, they got all this kind, they've got this great life out there, but the bottom line, they could have all the money. They could have everything that, that, that that's worth it out there in their lives that people on the outside look at like and oh I wish I had their life and then um, and then but the bottom line is inside is, is that they're unhappy with themselves and they hate themselves and they don't like themselves and they don't think they're this and they don't think they're that and and um, you know so this is just this is just another video of kind of extending about talking about this because I think it's it's so important. It's so important. And, um, you know, if truth be told, well, you know, I've been doing a lot of these things myself, you know, because I'm a human being just like you and me. We as human beings just like you and me. We as human beings. And we all, on a basic level, tick, talk to the same sort of kind of clock. Yep.